Hi there, signs of Gemini. Wow, I'm, I'm interested in this reading. I want to see if it's going to be as crazy as Libra's was. Absolutely crazy. Okay, there's my lighter. Yeah, major synchronicities, major rep, uh, repeating number, craziness. All right, so Gemini. Ah, okay, there we go. Now it caught on. Getting some Palo Santo lit, and we're calling in your spirit team, your spirit guides. Entities that can meet us at that divine white light. Okay, I have a few decks. I have a few decks out here, but it was the tarot that was um, kind of unreal. All right, Gemini's. And I do have private readings available. I have a website. If it doesn't work for some reason, I don't know why it wouldn't, but if it doesn't, then contact me. Oh, they're my email. They're only $24. They're worth it. Sparks of light. Hmm. Sparks of light. What is the spark of light to you? Is this a person? Is this hope? Is it just representing embodying hope? A glimmer in the darkness? Like, oh, thank goodness. I see a spark of light. Yeah, in the from oh yeah, well definitely from the darkness. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, mortification. Something's going through the process of death and decay, and and so it's in this process where something is ending, and things are cloudy. There's smoke. It's just uh, it's kind of dark, and then there's this spark of light, and that's what you wanted to see. Like literally sent from your soul. There's a spark of light. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to keep it at that. Something's coming around. A, a, a closing of completion, perfection. Perfection. Of course, that can mean perfectionism, too. Oh, you know what? It just it bounced from where I put it, and this is what it bounced on. Conjunction. Divine union. Interesting. It bounced open. I'm putting this here because this is what there might be smoke or confusion here but there is a spark of light okay so there is a spark of light let's start with the kipper what's the spark of light for gemini what's the spark of light for gemini community maybe a change of community or the people in your community Main female in the reverse. I'm not going to take it in reverse, though. Because I'm thinking that it has to do with a transformation. Occupation. Has to do with occupation. Hmm. Could it be that this energy was taking some kind of energy from you somehow? Or just draining on your energy? I don't know. Um... In your community with that card whoa occupation I have courtship really wanting to fly out and here's the light the spark of light there it is in the occupation card also somebody wants to get to know you better would like to get to know you courtship it's pull, pulling yourself out of despair uh, regarding something to do with your occupation or worry, especially if it's financial or something like that. I have the mature woman. I have adjudication on the bottom, the act of coming to judgment about something. It could be that there is a lady involved in, in um, <laughs> judging these energies coming together <clears throat> what come what may meaning i don't think anything is really blocking this from coming together whatever this courtship is and definitely an idea a brilliant idea associated with the occupation card here pulling you out of the time of despair or hardship 
I'm the nine female can be somebody that's going through major transformation and change. So it's somebody that's just kind of judging it. Don't let despair or anybody else's projections of shame or guilt cloud your vision. Let's get something from the tarot. Tell me about the main female. The emperor card. Could have something to do with authority or somebody dealing with authority or being in their, their own authority, taking charge. Strategy. <clears throat> The emperor could be a father figure. This could be a mother father figure too here. But community. The two of swords moving past a stalemate or block. A hardship to overcome adversity. In a community, uh, you may relate to being in a community that overcomes adversity. Tell me about the occupation. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting that so strongly. I don't always get that with the two of uh, swords, but... Okay, I have that. Yeah, I have this. this. is like an epiphany or great idea coming to you with the Ace of Swords. It's going to be for a career win, it feels like. An, epif an epiphany. That is the spark of light. It's coming together a little bit better now. That is the spark of light, the epiphany, and this brilliant idea that comes to you. Two of Swords can also be about coming to a peaceful resolution with a, another group of people or a group of people and <laughs> a group of people. Okay, what is courtship about? The Four of Pentacles. Somebody wants to build with you. A solid, stable foundation just with you, not listening to outside world, not letting others come in and, and ruin your safety and, and security that you create or build. And this will be a high level commitment to or a high level uh, soul contract coming in as a I want to get to know you energy first and build and build. Temperance is bringing this together. They have a situation under control where there might be smoke. It might be a dark time where I don't know how I'm going to make this or I don't know what I'm going to do about that. <clears throat> Being in despair. Like I said, overcoming adversity. Um, and and this, this is your angels helping you for sure. Balancing things. Uh, tweaking things in the environment. Uh, behind the scenes yes in the spirit you know what I'm trying to say right something about this older lady and making a judgment call or making a call on something they have been waiting on finally so I, I don't know what it is but you may be leaving this energy like I mean going in a different on a different path going your own way it could be you're going your own way from a father figure too for some of you because of this emperor energy here or this um, big boss energy the eight of cups though you're emotionally detaching and it could be saying to emotionally detach as much as possible from any feelings of despair and get yourself into the vibration of expecting really what's to come anyway which is your nine of cups which you're going towards your wish fulfillment yeah, the sun is going to be out. Again, with the sun, the spark of light, the idea, the epiphany, it's going to be something to bring new happiness to you regarding your occupation. Hmm. Yeah, there's just an energy that feels like it holds you back. It could be so that there is an energy around you that makes you doubt your own intuition, right? And then so that sense stops you from going in a different direction or holding you back. Three of Swords. Woof. There's some disagreement going on here. All together we have the Five of Swords. Disagreement, heartache, and loss. Um, this associated with this community. Mm, like So maybe this is something that you relate to of losing something or someone like relating to this group of 
the individuals that are overcoming adversity, trying to balance everyday life and sadness and heartache at the same time, here for harmonious change. And then, of course, there's choices and decisions here. Tell us more about this courtship then. Eight of Wands, the King of Pen the King of Wands. Why am I having trouble with that? And then uh, in the reverse, and then the Chariot. It's like you've dealt with some news that wasn't so great about something not working out for you, and therefore it now led you onto a different path where you're in this Chariot energy. You're very highly self-aware. You're very focused on your occupation and success and being independent and self-aware, and you're very aware of what's not working out and what's... Um, in a kind process of undergoing the mortification. Like you're there for it though. <clears throat> you're there to watch the decay of something that could not be built. Only to be on your chariot now. Right? Only to be on your chariot now. And find independence and growth and self-reliance. And reward for your efforts. Oh, I'm about to cry. What a beautiful reading. It is your victory. It's the nine to the ten at Pentacle. Get out of there. And this is the best news you're going to get in a very long time. You have others watching your success. I will say that. And the reason why is because it's freaking amazing. Because of everything that you've had to transmute. Adversity and heartache and sadness that you've had to overcome. And knowing all along that you're still part of this light, light worker group here to bring in a harmonious change trying to find it in the 3d life too um, sometimes we find it in the 5d way way before um some and most of the time we even know about good changes a long time before they come and i feel like you do know about this victory this chariot this move this travel and you're so self-aware that you need to provide that safety and protection for yourself first and then you can share true happiness with another individual who's literally the two of you coming together, not out of a need, but out of a sheer love and want. Ah, hmm? oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull an angel number message for you. I'm wrapping it up, guys, because I think this is um, cohesive. And there it is, wanting to build with you. Look, I'm going to read the bottom one, too. Four says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the hard, you are the rock, and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. I am stable. And then I have master number 55, substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities. Let go of fears. I'm evolving. And just the number 13 in reverse says, yes, you are evolving, and you are going through a death and decay process of what's not working, what wasn't able to be built, some kind of news on that, but my God. <laughs> Past this roadblock. Past this. There's this you tell me what your spark of light ends up being. Please do. Please share your epiphany or your idea. Unless it's like an innovation or innovation or something like that. See something like this card gives me like thinking up something that's going to help other people study and do research. Innovative ways. I can't, I can't even say that right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles work, cooperation, study, research is kind of out. Research. There's, a, there's some really great big idea. All right, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. So like and subscribe if you did like this video and uh, I will see you next time. Bye, Geminis.